Welcome to Build Better Apps with Angular 2. This is, as Mark said, my third uh, Front of Masters uh, workshop. So I was here kind of towards the beginning of when Front of Masters was still kind of growing up and it's since turned into a quite a veritable platform. Um, I owe Mark actually, I was telling him last night that I really think kind of the genesis of my career in Angular started with with front end masters, where it's, um, you know, I'd been blogging for a bit, but then once I had uh, hooked up with Mark and we did front end masters, it seems like everything just went kind of to the next level. So, you know, huge thanks to him for that. Um, I really just appreciate his commitment and his passion to building something that helps people learn. And he's really just passionate about changing just how people learn and providing the best possible resources. Um, it's so just being conversational here as we kind of get started, it's amazing to me how when I go places, um, even in Europe and different places where people will come up to me and say, I got into Angular because of your front end master's course that, that I saw. And so that is really truly why I do what I do is because Angular has been you know, very good to me. It's provided a really good livelihood, but being able to take the things that I'm excited about and convey it to, to other people, because I believe true mastery is when you can convey mastery. And so for me is that, you know, my goal is by the end of these workshops, so we have, you know, a two-day, you know, Angular 2, getting to know it, and then we have a reactive Angular on the third day, is that everybody walks out with a strong foundation for Angular 2, that they can go and build real things, but more importantly, that it impacts you and in your life and your quality of life. Because I believe that you know, when you have skill sets that you can translate, that you write better applications, that makes people's lives better. So you know, kind of a big grand vision here. So for day one, my goal is that we have a strong grasp on how to build a single basic feature in Angular 2. And so what I mean by that is I tend to think of applications in, as a composition of features. And so we're going to learn how to build a single feature that's going to include a template, a component, a service, and then eventually we will route to it, but a single feature. Then day two is we're going to learn how to put together multiple non-trivial features. So we're gonna learn how to basically work with a single building block. And then in day two, we'll learn how to put these building blocks together and start to build more interesting things. And then on day three, we're going to learn how to make them reactive. So here is the agenda. We're going to just talk about the Angular 2 big picture. We're just going to lay it all out, high level. What is Angular 2? What's new in Angular 2? What are the big pieces? Then Scott's going to do a prerequisite primer in tooling. So one of the things with Angular 2 is not only do you have to learn Angular 2, but there's some additional skills and tools that you kind of need to wrap your mind around. Then I'm going to talk about component fundamentals and what goes into to building a component. Scott gets the best module of the day, which is templates, which is one of my favorite things. I'll be back to talk about services. And then Scott gets the worst module of the day as a result. That's Karma. And he gets to talk about routing. So Angular 2, big picture. And you'll notice these icons in the bottom of the slide. So this is a satellite. This is kind of me kind of broadcasting information. And so the modules are going to kind of go in this format. So Scott or I will talk a little bit about some theory. Then we're going to kind of show some examples. So we'll talk about it. We'll show it in code, either in Plunks or in um, the sample project. So you can kind of see what it looks like in the code. So we'll anchor it. 
and then we'll give you an opportunity to do challenges. So probably 15, 20 minutes of talking, 10 to 15 minutes of walking through some code, offering commentary, and then we'll turn you loose for you know, 20, 25 minutes to actually kind of apply what we have talked about, and then we can answer questions and uh, kind of go from there.